Hi, I'm gonna tell you about new features in Krita 4. First of all, vector tools has changed a lot, so be careful. If you create vector objects in Krita 4, you may not be able to open it in previous versions of Krita. That's because the file format for vector objects in Krita 4 has changed. It used to be ODG and now Krita has SVG file format, which works great for other applications such as Inkscape. You can now copy-paste shapes from and to Inkscape directly. Boolean functions are also available now in Krita. For example, I will create two vector objects, and for that you need a vector layer. Now I select those two shapes and right-click on the canvas. And in the logical operations section you can see some Boolean functions. Also from this menu you can arrange objects like send to back, send to front, You can group objects and you can transform objects, rotate or mirror. The settings on the tool options docker has changes too. There are now three tabs. The first one is for main shape and transform options. The second one contains stroke options, the color, thickness and the line type. And the last one is about the fill. And for those of you who make comics, a docker called Vector Libraries could be useful. It contains different types of speech balloons. In the layer menu, you can export your vector layers to SVG. Text tool is finally nice to work with. You just grab it and drag on the canvas. Then this window pop-ups, you type here and press save. Text tool is a vector object, so if you don't have a vector layer, Krita creates it for you. For editing text just double-click on it and the same window will pop up. Or you can press edit text button on the tool options docker. Python scripting. You can now create scripts to work with images, add dockers and entries to the menu, and much more. There are also several scripts that included in Krita. You can access them using settings menu. You can enable and disable scripts in the Python plugin manager. But you have to restart Krita to see the changes. And after that, in the tools scripts menu you can choose those scripts. You can read more about that on Krita website. You can find the links in the description. Colorize mask tool. There is a new mask layer in Krita 4 and a new tool to work with it. Colorize mask editing tool. You can use brush tool as well, but this new tool is more convenient. For this example, you need a line art on the separate layer. You choose this line art layer, right click on it and from the drop-down menu choose Add Colorize Mask. You can also create this mask using a button in the bottom part of the layer docker. Or Krita can create it for you. If you choose the line art layer, grab Colorize Mask editing tool and click on the canvas. After that, the line art looks kinda weird, but that's fine. Now we make strokes using different colors. Like this. When you are done, press Update button on the Tool Options Docker or press this button. You can switch to Normal View using one of the buttons on the layer docker in front of the Colorize Mask layer. Or just uncheck Edit Key Strokes on the Tool Options Docker. As you can see, we have the whole layer colored. There are no transparency. So, on the Tool Options Docker, we can pick one of the colors we used and assign it to be transparent. What I mean is, now if we paint with this color, Krita will make the painted area transparent. 
you can also add colorize mask to group layer. To convert this layer to a paint layer, just right click on it and choose convert to paint layer option. Also, if you want a separate layer for each color, you can choose this option from layer menu. Layer split split layer. Brushes. Brush editor has also changed. Now it has a preview almost for every brush. Brush engines are now can be found here, in this part. Also, you can resize your brush presets by the new slider right here. The brush size limit, which was 1000 pixels, has been increased to 10,000 pixels. To set the new limit, open Settings, Config Krita, and here you can type it. To see the changes, you have to restart Krita. But please be careful, make sure your computer can handle that, or you will end up with instant crashes. Next, there are plenty of new awesome brushes, most of them are the brushes made by David Rivois. And the new brush option, which I'm sure most of you have heard and very excited about, is masked brushes. I think you could compare it to double brushes setting in Photoshop. In the masked brush settings, you can choose the second brush tip, set it and choose the way in which two brush tips would work with each other. If you right-click on the canvas, the pop-up palette will show up. In Krita 4 this palette has improved. Now you can zoom with a slider, you can rotate your canvas, you can mirror, you can hide all the tools and dockers, and you can reset zoom to 100% view. A new feature has been added to Krita. If you zoom in 800% or more, you can see a pixel grid. You can set the zoom percentage and the color of the grid in Krita settings. Isometric grid. You can choose this type of the grid using Grids and Guides Docker. Choose here Isometric, you can turn on the grid choosing View Show Grid, and now you can edit the settings of your grid. Filters a new edge detection filter has been written and the older one has been removed. There is also a head to normal map filter, a brightness contrast curves filter has been removed, you can use color adjustment curves instead. Gradient map filter has been changed and now it works faster. Color Palette Docker In Krita 4, a new color palette file format was designed.
and now you can make group of colors, rename colors and drag and drop them. Working with Assistant tool, you can now change the color of assistants and make them transparent. Saving your document The first feature is background saving. You can keep up with your work while Krita saves your document or export your animation. And the second feature is a new warning message when you save your work choosing the file format that could lead to any kind of information loss, like saving a PNG image instead of file format that supports layers. That's all for now. I hope you could tolerate my accent. And hopefully I will see you next time. Have joy with painting, like Bob Ross did.